I don't, I don't even know where to begin this video, but one of the things that I have always prided myself on is to be real and to be transparent as much as possible, you know, especially on YouTube, because YouTube to me has been something I've been doing for an awful long time, not just recently, not just in the last year or two. Actually, since um, 2009 is how long I've been on YouTube. So it's been, it's been a long time. And, you know, I started my YouTube career doing lifestyle videos and, and stuff like that and, and sharing the things that I enjoy to, that I enjoy doing and, you know, what my world was like. So in that sense, it's always been about transparency and being real. So I sometimes I struggle with how real to be lately because I know that there are certain topics nobody wants to hear, you know, nobody wants to hear about politics, religion, stuff like that. And I really avoid all that stuff. We all have enough of that. You can go onto Facebook and you can see any political belief you want. Uh, but I also know people don't want to see sadness. They want to be uplifted. So I struggle with that, that myself because I haven't been on YouTube. Has it been over two weeks? I don't even know. I haven't had a video up, which is very much unlike me. Those of you that have been with me for a while, you know, I try to do twice a week at least. And um, I've been pretty consistent with that. But I, I kind of disappeared a little over two weeks ago now, I think maybe almost three. And um, I had a number of you reach out asking me what was wrong. Some of you knew what was wrong because you saw it on Facebook. Facebook for me is where my family is, you know, and so I share a lot or my family shares a lot and I'm tagged a lot on Facebook. But I, I feel I owe it to you to at least say, where I've been and you know what's happening. Uh, I on on September 29th, my brother passed away, very, very unexpectedly, very suddenly, and he wasn't found until the morning of the 30th. And uh, he died of a massive coronary collapse. Or uh, I, I looked at his his death certificate and the listing and all that, um, basically a massive heart attack. I want to believe that he died quickly and felt no pain. But, you know, I know no matter how someone dies, it doesn't much matter, right? It just throws you for a total loop. But I think that sometimes it, when it's a sudden, sudden thing like that, you just don't have time to absorb it maybe, to adapt to it, to this new reality. So uh, telling my mom that my brother was, had gone, I, this is exactly how I told her. I went down to see her. She wasn't home. Jay dropped me off and he went to my brother's condo to make sure everything was locked up and fine while I waited for my mom. And she walked in, she had gone groceries. I brought her bags in for her. And then in the kitchen, she said, you know, what's wrong? And so, uh, that's when I first looked at her. And when I looked at her, she saw it all over my eyes. And I knew she was going to probably collapse or something. So I just went over and I embraced her really tight and I held her up and I said, mom, I said, Billy's going to be with dad in heaven. And that's how I told her. And her reaction was just like, no, 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 you know, I, I mean, my mom's 93 and I know no matter how old one you are, a death of a child is not anything anyone ever, ever expects or, you know, even knows how to adjust to. So it threw us all for a loop. And, you know, I'm my brother's caregiver. I'm his guardian. Uh, I spoke to him last on Sunday night. My mother spoke to him on Tuesday night. The best we can recollect is that, or the best we've been pieced together is that um, he passed away on the 29th on Wednesday. And, um, you know, wasn't missed until Thursday. And so you struggle with that, you know, uh, especially for me being his caregiver. 
anyways, not that I want to dwell on that, and I don't, because I have a lot of stuff I want to share with you guys, because at the same time as my brother passed away, we had been preparing for a family wedding, and we were, like, so excited about this family wedding, you know, and... I found myself having to, to write a eulogy for my brother. And then a week later, a blessing for my son and his new bride. And it was just such a emotional ups and downs. You know, I, I, I just couldn't even think of YouTube. I couldn't even think of doing a video. And I have videos. I mean, I have, I've got this awesome mascara I want to talk about. It was actually sent to me. And you know, you know, we, oftentimes you get things from Octoly. This was sent to me from Octoly. I also got a PR package with, um, I can smell the perfume, it's so pretty, with um, Dossier, you know, designer perfumes, and, um, or inspired by designer perfumes, and I was like, whoa, I was impressed, so there's like a whole bunch of different things I want to talk about, we ended up getting our e-bikes, we've been biking, uh, we went, uh, the weekend, my brother, when I found out my brother had passed away, that Saturday, Jay took me for a really long bike ride. We went from Nashua, New Hampshire, down to Air Mass and back. It was like 25 miles through beautiful pastures and, you know, along the river. And the, the leaves were beautiful. And it, it just helped me so much clear my mind because I knew I had to prepare a eulogy. I had to think about stuff. So riding that bike just really helped me get to that place. I... I don't know, you know, but anyway, so I thought I owed it. I didn't, it's not so much that I owed it. I felt that I wanted to answer those questions on where I've been. And so it's, I'll be back. Um, you know, I'm going to do that video. I'm going to talk about that mascara. I'm going to talk about the perfume. And I want to share some pictures of the bike ride. And I'm going to, I want to share some pictures of the wedding. The wedding was yesterday. It was amazing. And I was really worried about the blessing, you know, what to say, how to start it. And I got, I mean, I got like, like in the middle of it, people just started clapping like crazy. <laughs> and then at the end they clapped as well. So it was like, it's just really, it was really good. And my stepson flew out and he is only here from Wednesday night to Sunday. And then he had to fly back to Atlanta, but my stepson Justin and his wife came out. So we had family together and just such an emotional two weeks, just such an emotional two weeks. But yeah, all, you know, all is good. And I'm sorry for those of you, because I know I had put a message on my community tab, but apparently not everyone gets notified of the community tab or even knows to go and look at a community tab. And that's what I did. So I just figured I'd come in, I'd do this quick video and tell you I'm back. I didn't really go anywhere. I just, I was just, I was just in a real hurting place, you know? And when you are in a hurting place, sometimes it's hard to, to put a smile on your face, you know, when your heart's crying, you know what I mean? It's hard, hard to do that. But I need, I need my YouTube for sure because I miss you guys. I miss the engagement. I miss all of that. And um, I want to share the bike ride pictures and I want to, I want to talk about my new bike. I know who cares, but I want to talk about the mascara that I'm loving. And I just want to get back to more of a normal, normal routine. So anyways, it's fall. The leaves are down and you know we've had so much rain this summer that we haven't even the ground hasn't even dried up enough to enough to really even mow never mind look at this ray this is my backyard this is how much leaves we have in our backyard jay and i are hoping that we can um do a quick one at least one more camping trip and even we're thinking of just even overflow camping and then we'll flush out our tanks and winterize and all that. I really dread the idea of, of winterizing, but I've got to do it. I've got to do it. It's that time of year. So I just wanted to pop in and say thank you for all of the, all of you. I, I know a lot of you have been wondering and reaching out and all that, and I'm fine. Totally fine. Back in the groove. 
And um, yeah, my next video, I'm going to share a whole bunch of stuff with you. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for understanding and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.